just marking out where to put the lights before I cut the centre section out and line it with that red vinyl. So today I put in the red vinyl roof, which was a piece of plywood, about four mil, which I lined with some um, that cushioning foam stuff, which is about a couple of mil thick, and then put the red vinyl over the top, as you can see, cut out the hole for the vent, and then the hole for the lights to go in. <laughs> and then outlined the edges where the cupboards are going to go with some timber struts to help hold the cupboards the other in. The side I've just stuck up some carpet, black carpet there, and ready to cut out and then glue on. So what are you doing? Throwing some glue on. For what? Pull down the carpet, hopefully, and fall off. Slash stainless steel look-alike splash back, which are it's about a one mil, one and a half mil um, sort of um, stick-on thingy. So I glued that on, put some props in there to hold it on behind the plywood. Uh, then I've also put in this carpet, which I've now stuck on both sides. Obviously, where you can see the wobbly bits where the window, I've got to cut that out because there's nothing behind there. Um, and now I'm measuring up the cupboard string here, putting a string line to measure up to get a nice straight edge along here to throw in the first row of cupboards um, and that's going to be fun. And that sucker's going to go right here and nicely fit there so at the back of there there's a little um, flue vent which I couldn't find anything up here to put PVC so I'll have to make my own little pipe. So I've cut a hole through the wall here and then that's going to go flu straight outside so it'll save space in the cupboards here. Next day I'll put all these cupboards in. These are the top of, uh, cupboard struts or whatever you want to call it. Um, this is all made from recycled leftover bits of black melamine wood. Just had to cut it down. I'll uh, hinge the doors out and over the top and use those sort of kitchen brackets. You can see I've done a brace here so the cup goes inside there and this one comes inside there and that's the centerpiece. I've just finished the uh, cupboard doors. As you can see they're all got kitchen hinges on them there. Left two mil all around the edges because they're going to have a two mil edging put on. There's a place in Sydney that does it for about two bucks a metre. So and that's much better than doing it yourself, trust me. Um, this is all the little nice amount of cupboard space going on in here. Pull it Little cupboards. And just put in the kitchen door, cupboard door, one in there. Obviously, I haven't put the um, knobs on yet. And this is the studio. So, this is your drawer, kitchen drawers. This is going to be a pull out keyboard holder. So you put the keyboard in there and you flip down lid and <laughs> MIDI control on it. I'll have a little studio built in here with some monitors eventually. That's where I'll be writing and stuff. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Right, today we're tiling. Uh, we're going to put these beautiful spaceship looking tiles down. I'm covered in glue. So, first, you've got to lay the adhesive down, let it sit there for 10 15 minutes, put it on the tile as well, and then stick it around. So, I'll start from this corner and then work my way back to the back. Gonna look super pimped, I reckon. Today we just finished um, 
well last night, finished putting the super special lino tiled floor. This is the type of material it is. Just lino tiles, but they look like Star Trek. So I just used a standard uh, contact adhesive. Glued it on both sides, let it sit for 20 minutes and then stick them down. But it's come up quite nice, I might say. Wanna thank you. 